Oh, there it is. <laughs> Couldn't find it when I was looking for it. My parents were immigrants from Finland. My father had a very hard and dramatic life story. He was interested in art, but never had the chance to practice it. I'm sure, though, that he's one of the reasons I started to paint. We used to paint together, and he bought me my first materials and showed me how to do things. He was interested in all kinds of art and used to say to me, art is for people who think. That's probably one reason my work has always had something to do with ideas, with history, with narrative, and processes. Even though my work is very much centered in the practice of painting, it's not about painting. The interest in the book began with my own children and the experience of reading to them. Both the fairy tales and the act of repetitive reading brought me back to an earlier interest in history, understood in the sense of mentalité or modes of experience of earlier epochs. A lot of the paintings draw together diverse references gathered from this kind of research and historical illustration or children's drawings investigating and restaging past visual narratives in contemporary situations. I explore some of these figures to question our relationship to the environment and the future. These days, the work is a lot about concerns for the future and about loss. I don't know if painting is important in the grand scheme of things today. I know it's been important for me. There's something about starting with some pigment and a completely blank surface. Something about making something, stepping back, looking at it and saying, is this how things are made? The result might not be an answer. But sometimes, if you're lucky, it can be a big or a beautiful question. Okay. I'm gonna leave it for now. That's okay.